hi guys welcome back to my channel tonight for dinner i made a sheet pan pizza with alfredo sauce leftover chicken some bacon bits and some onion and some mozzarella cheese i also made a salad just lettuce tomato avocado carrot cucumber some green onion and cheese and then i just used some caesar dressing with the salad tonight for dinner i made some pulled pork barbecue sandwiches and the pork I just cooked in the slow cooker with some complete seasoning and then I just have some fries on the side. Tonight for dinner I'm making some tacos and actually ran out of tortillas so I have to make my own. Thankfully I have this bag of maseca in the pantry and so you need, uh, for two cups of maseca you need a cup and a half of water. So I went ahead and did that and this is what the dough will look like. I know it might seem a little intimidating trying to make your own tortillas at home, but honestly, it's really simple. This is probably like the third time I've made them, and I feel like I got the hang of it, and it's way better than the store-bought. So go ahead and grab, I would say this is about two tablespoons worth, and just go ahead and uh, roll it up into a ball. I'm fortunate enough to have one of these tortilla presses. I'm not sure if they sell them everywhere. Uh, my mom actually got this from Tijuana, I believe, on one of her trips there. It says $155, but it's actually in pesos. Probably about $8, I think. Um, but if you don't have one, you can just use a heavy pot. You also need, a, I just have a sandwich bag, and you're going to cut off the top and down the sides. And this is what it's going to look like after you've cut it and it's going to prevent the tortilla from sticking to any surface. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and use my tortilla press but if you don't have one you would do the same thing that I'm showing here except that you would grab a heavy pot to um, press down on the tortilla dough. So you just want to put the dough in the center, cover it with the other side and go ahead and press down. I'm using this or a heavy pot or whatever you have. And this is what it's going to look like once it's done. If you're using a heavy pot, make sure that you apply even pressure so that it comes out evenly. And then just go ahead and cook it up on your pan. I did about 30 seconds per side. And this is what it's going to look like once it's done. So a couple days ago, I made a pork butt in the slow cooker. Half of it I used for those barbecue pork sandwiches, and the other half I'm gonna use to make uh, the carnitas for tonight's tacos. So I cooked this on high heat because I want uh, some crispy bits in there. The meat's already cooked through. Um, but I definitely want some crispy pieces in there. Uh, for seasoning, I, I am going to season it again, even though I seasoned it in the crock pot, but it needs some, some more seasoning. So I use this complete seasoning from Badia. I get it at Target, and this is the ingredients it has here. It's actually pretty cheap, like 6 or $7 for uh, this, I think it's a pound of seasoning. And I used to use a lot of different seasonings, um, but this kind of has everything in it, so it definitely cuts uh, on the thyme. And um, also some cumin. Uh, that doesn't have cumin in it, but I definitely need cumin. I don't measure, honestly. I just kind of cook by sight, I guess you would say. But definitely go ahead and taste your food as you go. I think that's the key. And then go ahead and add some oregano. Once you mix in all the spices, I would say I think I cook this for about seven or eight minutes. And once it's done, you'll know because it'll have some crispy bits like this, like I was talking about earlier. And it's done. Now you're just going to go ahead and assemble your tacos. Um, you can see on the side here, I'm going to use some cilantro, onion, and lime. Also, some avocado would have been nice, but I didn't have any. <laughs> but um, just this is honestly delicious. So... Go ahead and build up your tacos. And 
and of course some homemade salsa would be nice but this cholula green pepper hot sauce is my favorite if you haven't tried it go ahead and give it a try it's really good and that's it that's for dinner tonight tonight for dinner i'm making some teriyaki chicken uh, I guess my version at least. Uh, first I'm going to go ahead and cook up some zucchini. And I'm not going to cook it all the way through because I'm going to go ahead and add it back in to the pot with the chicken later. Um, but just make sure that it has some um, good coloring like this right here. And then put it to the side. Then you're going to grab um, some more olive oil and put in your chicken. I use chicken thighs and I just cut them up in bite-sized pieces. And for my family, um, I use uh, about three pounds. I'm gonna let that cook for a few minutes and I'm going to season uh, just simply with some salt, not too much, cause we're gonna have um, some soy sauce later and some garlic and also some onion powder. And then once it's cooked for about 10 minutes, it's not completely done yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and add half a cup of brown sugar and then a quarter cup of soy sauce. And I'm gonna go ahead and mix that in. It's gonna look really um, runny at first, but once you cook it for about 10 minutes, the sauce is gonna thicken up. You're gonna go ahead and add your zucchini back in. And then um, it's pretty much done here. You can cook it for a couple more minutes. Um, but make sure that the zucchini doesn't get too overcooked. And then at the end, I'm going to just add in some sesame oil. And um, I'm not going to cook it any longer. This is just kind of like a finishing touch just to add some more flavor. And that's it. Dinner is done. I just served it with some jasmine rice. And I also topped it with some sriracha, of course. Uh, we love spicy food. Uh, you can also add some toasted sesame seeds on top. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, guys, and make sure to subscribe for more videos.